It's a revolution It's a revolution It's a revolution It's a Fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later.
sorry, sir. Our business has been useful. Agent, it's been correct. Watch out! They keep on coming! Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. The elevators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea! By all means, yes! Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Titan, get back to the entrance. Buy me some time to get this elevator operational. You can control that UGT as well, yes? Give them hell! For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Good! One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. No choice now. 
Listen, just one more. An electrical panel nearby. Use your yes, yeah, that should take care of security. Now head back to the gate. Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. You do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, right? Try and keep moving. I could have to blow open the door for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots. Sliders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Good, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
right of ways up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. It is sealed. I very much doubt you. Get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. straight ahead to reach the elevator. My apologies, Ryden. 
I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Another freight platform! Look out! Incoming! Yeah! <laughs> 
to the freight elevators. You pass to the server room feeds right through them. Server rooms ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank-and-file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him.
disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulated to performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11! What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Bryden, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. You can be cooler than 
Shaving? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> He's good. Real good. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Well, you get your wish. Up to you now. So Raiden here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry! Raiden, 
what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. <sighs> he said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official generals are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial generals will take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevers Muzna, impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. Set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ 320s. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! EMP? Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Chopper around.
My friend, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are alright. Hmm? It's time you got out of Denver. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it.
right in hurry. It may be an RLV, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. I've located a route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading on your Soliton radar. Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely.
Bart. I have analyzed his words and actions. I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Ah, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. here. Okay. Let's dance! Just you and me.
figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My vial indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. One hour, hurry! Roger that. 